His self-taught makeup skills drew on his background in traveling vaudeville and theater. Cheney described his talent as extraordinary characterization. He did all his own makeup, and it was pretty horrible, <laughs> you know? Yes, all that. Oh, <laughs> I, I don't know how he did it himself, but he did. Exactly how Cheney achieved his makeup effects has always intrigued me. Fortunately, just as the phantom lurked below the Paris Opera, the relics of Cheney can be found in the bowels of the Los Angeles Natural History Museum, under the custodianship of Beth Whirling. So, Beth, what treasures do you have for us here? Ah, we have Lon Cheney's makeup kit here. There he is, Lon F. Cheney, Hollywood, California. Wow, it's extraordinary. Holy relics. And what's in here, Ben? Ah, this is one of the glass eyes that Cheney had especially made. <laughs> it's particularly gruesome. <laughs> in its own little box, isn't it? Mm-hmm. When I was a, a kid, I kind of grew up with the stories of um, the lengths he went to to create these things. He put mm -hmm. himself through an unbelievable amount of pain. And that's an example of that. And to wear something that thick of a nut covering over almost your entire eye yeah. couldn't have been comfortable. It's not exactly... Uh, permeable lens, is no, it? No, <laughs> it's like putting a, a billiard ball in your eye. Mm -hmm. It's now believed that Cheney achieved the Phantom's famous missing nose effect using thin wire to pull his own nose back, creating that truncated, snout-like look. Remarkably, he did much of this working on his own, but it turns out he had something to practice on. Wow. Mm hmm This is a life cast um, that Cheney had made of his own face uh, with glass eyes inserted. And he used this to practice um, some of his makeup techniques. And he would take a look, see if he thought critically, if he needed a little more here, a little less there, if he didn't like the look entirely. It was much easier to scrub it off and to decide looking at it yourself in a mirror, so to speak, than to actually apply it on his own face. It's quite fitting, isn't it? Someone who's so obsessed with bodily dismemberment mm -hmm. ends up with his own head <laughs> in a box. 